Hi, it's Kathy here. Thanks for tuning in. I make videos on transformation, abundance, spirituality, and the wisdom from the tarot that can help us in our daily lives. Today, I wanted to talk about the importance of listening to your intuition and learning to trust yourself. We all come into this life with a specific blueprint, and it's like a unique design that contains our highest purpose, our talents, our characteristics, various tools and information and abilities that are going to help us to best fulfill our life's highest potential and mission. So we have this inner map that can lead us to living our best, most joyful, most abundant and fulfilling life. But if that's so, why are so many people feeling out of kilter, um, feeling burnt out, dissatisfied, anxious and disappointed? Well, simply it's because they're out of alignment with their blueprint and instead they've been influenced by their conditioning, they've made poor choices, they've maybe got negative behavioural patterns and beliefs and they've just bought into societal kind of conditioning and expectations. But the good news is that you can always get back into alignment when you start listening to your inner guidance and then life can flow again for you. So here are a few ideas and tips on how you can do that. So the key way to fulfill your blueprint is to love yourself, to listen to your inner voice, to take action despite your fears and to start creating with intent. But the power to make this happen comes from finding the truth that you're not just a small human separate from everything and powerless to make change unless you use a lot of personal effort and energy you are an infinite being you're connected to all that is and all possibilities and you are powerful beyond measure when you realize who you are at this quantum level connected to everything and that you are just energy and consciousness you don't need to find more books that um, help you to seek the truth. Seek the truth by listening to your higher guidance from within. You know, have a conversation with your inner voice every day. Build a relationship with your higher self so that you can recognize how it makes you feel in your body and how it sounds in your head. That's not to say don't let other people inspire you. But when you're listening to advice from others, you need to evaluate the source of that advice. You know, ask yourself, is this advice from someone who is on the path of listening to themselves and following their blueprint? Or do they just want to impress others? Do they let other people influence them as opposed to listening to their inner self? If you can find someone to guide you who is dedicated to listening to their inner self, this can be really helpful for helping you to get to a similar point. But if you choose to take the advice from people who aren't listening to themselves and they're instead trying to make everyone else happy, then you'll create something similar for yourself. It's very important to always listen to yourself first and try to find other people to learn from who are also listening to themselves. But you are the only one that can change your life. So you do that by listening to your inner voice. You can listen to me telling you this, but even that doesn't make it true for you. You have to decide for yourself if what I'm saying is true. Sometimes the small self gets in the way and fills your head with doubt, but a lot of people will hear their inner voice or feel a knowing in their bodies strongly enough to know that what I'm saying is true. But again, that's up to you to find out. Start listening to your thoughts. Start listening for the higher thoughts that make you feel good, the thoughts that are loving, encouraging, kind, inspiring, the thoughts that champion you and remind you to believe in yourself. Start asking your higher self how to get onto the path of fulfilling your blueprint and stop listening to other people when it comes to making decisions about what to create in your life or what the right thing to do is. Start asking your higher self the questions that you would have asked those other people and just see what comes. The only thing that can guarantee 
you real success and accomplishment is to start listening to your inner voice nothing else is going to work in the same way nothing or not as well only your higher self has the right guidance for you following someone else who has found something that works for them and who you know in a very uh, generous way or it from from their heart they want to share it and tell everyone that they found the way and to follow them they have only found their way if you're feeling vulnerable and lost and you're looking for direction then that can be very attractive um to you from that place and it's very easy to buy into that illusion that someone else has the answers for you and i've done this plenty of times uh, but the chances are that it won't work for you because everyone has their own unique blueprints and way of being in the world and the purpose to fulfill so it's not enough to simply follow what someone else says you have to start talking to your higher self and find your own truth for yourself find your own blueprint and follow that at those times when you have followed other people and it didn't work out and then you got mad at them because of that really it's not that you're mad at them it's you're upset that you didn't listen to yourself to your inner voice and do what it told you to do because it always knows what's best for you and it always whispers the right guidance you just didn't trust it and believe in yourself enough to follow it that's all so just love yourself forgive yourself and move forward knowing that the next time you'll do what's best for you learn to say no to advice when it's not what you're being told from your inner being you know when your inner guidance tells you what to do just do it rather than uh, looking to confirm with somebody else that that it's a good idea just know that it's the right thing to do despite what anybody else says don't let the world make you doubt yourself. You know, be strong in your knowing that your inner voice is always right for you. So in summary, to fulfill your blueprint, love yourself, listen to your inner voice, take action despite your fears and create with intent. And after you've found the truth that you are an infinite being and you know that from like an experiential place, something deep in your heart, you are I am presence stop searching outside of yourself seek further truth by listening to your own inner guidance everyone has a unique blueprint so everyone will hear um, something different from their inner voice and it's not just enough to know this to be true so you need to start your own conversation with your higher self so that you directly experience it and that makes it more real and it helps you to develop your faith in its guidance. Start an, a conversation with your inner voice, with your inner being, so that you get to know what your truth feels like. Let other people inspire you and experiment and try new things and then the feedback that you will experience in your body will be you like act like your compass to know if what you're hearing is guidance from your higher self typically it will be something that lifts you that lightens you and it makes you feel energized and enthusiastic about moving forwards in a particular direction which you kind of can feel in your heart and that will be more aligned than something that feels dense or heavy or labored or difficult or uninspiring and another red flag is that if you find yourself doing something because you think you should, uh, that's a really good indicator that you're in your head and listening to that rather than listening to your higher self. If you'd like support to connect with and feel your own intuition and inner truth, then I can certainly help. My links are in the description. But you really do have all the answers for creating the best life within you. It, it's always there for you to access. So no matter what place you, that you find yourself in, the perfect guidance is always available. You just need to make the time and space to listen. So that's it from me for today. And I will see you next time.